Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Karuna and today I'm going to show you how to prepare Karanji. Karanji is also known as Karjikai or Kadubu in South India. So let's get started. In a clean bowl, add 1 cup of all-purpose flour, 3 tablespoons of semolina or fine rava and a fat pinch of salt. Heat 2 tablespoons of oil and pour it over the mixture. When we pour it, it should make a sizzling sound. Mix all the ingredients, add water in increments and continue to knead until we get a firm soft dough. It should look something like this. Sprinkle some oil and coat this dough with a layer of oil. Let this dough rest for 30 minutes before we start preparing our karanjis. In a clean plate, add 1 cup grated dry coconut, 2 third cup of roasted gram dal powder, 2 third cup of powdered sugar and mix everything well. Using a mortar and pestle, crush 3 cardamom pots. You can throw away the cardamom skins. And add the crushed cardamom to the coconut sugar mixture. Mix everything again. Heat a pan on a medium to low flame. Add 2 tablespoons of ghee and wait till the ghee warm up slightly. To this, add 2 tablespoons of chopped cashews. 2 tablespoons of slivered almonds and fry until they are lightly brown. Add 1 tablespoon of resins and fry until they puff up. Turn off the flame and the resin should look something like this. Add this to the coconut sugar mixture and mix everything well. Pinch out a lemon sized dough. Dust it with some all-purpose flour and flatten it using a rolling pin. When done, using a cookie cutter or any round shape with which you can cut the dough into a perfect circle, cut equal size discs of the dough. It should look something like this. Use one disc in a dumpling press or a karanji press. Apply a layer of water on the edges. Fill about a teaspoon of stuffing and press the edges. When you open it, it'll look something like this. Repeat the same until all the karanjis are formed. Heat a pan on a medium to low flame. Add oil and wait until the oil eats up. Drop 4 to 5 karanjis in the hot oil and fry until they are lightly brown on each side. When done, remove them from the oil onto a paper towel. Repeat the same until you have fried all the karanjis. When done, we can arrange them on a platter. These karanjis are prepared during Diwali or Ganesh Chaturthi festival. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please put it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.